Hey guys, welcome to another Whiteboard Wednesday. Today I want to show you how to structure your blog and your website content and even your YouTube content if you make videos. Now this is important because the reason we blog and we put content on our website is to start getting more traffic. And that's how I was successful with my personal training business was I was putting one testimonial on the website the correct way. And in return, I was getting two to three signups, signups, paying clients every single week. Now I had people automatically coming to the site from Google. I was the number one person in the search engines. And then they would start hiring me automatically through the site. And that's what I want to teach you guys today is how to set this up correctly, um, what to be looking for, and some research that you can also do. So the first thing is keywords. Keywords are the research you do before writing the blog. We spoke about this in another video where we talk about, you know, what if nobody's even searching for what you want to write about? You don't put all that time and effort into something and then nobody ever searches. So think about while you're working with your clients one-on-one, -on -one, what they're asking you, some questions they might be asking you. And then we also have some software that you can also use. Now I'll show that to you right now. We'll always include it in the, this description below is KW Finder, five free searches a day. Go on there, type in some keywords that you think, personal training. Change it to English and find keywords. Now, let's say about that, uh, you can actually go in here and see how many people are searching for it per month, and then you can make your content about it. Obviously, personal training, 40,000 searches a month personal trainer, 200,000 searches a month. But then you can start looking uh, like things like this, personal trainer near me. That's something that you could really use for your business, right? You could write something about personal training uh, near your house, traveling, if they travel to you. And then you can even always come over here to the right and uh, do some research on other blogs that have been written. You can make videos about it. So this is just a great way to really find out what your customers want Keep your ears open while you're working with them and then make content about it so you show up in search engines. The next one is the title. So the title is what people are going to see. And you see a lot of those uh, companies out there that they make these outrageous titles. Um, I think they call it clickbait, right? Make you want to click on it to see what's inside. Make yours relevant. Make it all about what the article or the video is about, but also include the keywords that you decided on. So let's say you decided on two keywords, you want to make sure those are in the title. And I'll show you that now. So we wrote an article about pinch nerve. Now we found out that there were, you know, hundreds if not thousands of people searching for pinch nerves. So we included pinch nerve, our two keywords in our title, right? And then those keywords are also going to be throughout the entire article and or video. So make sure the two keywords are in the title. So the next one is the URL structure. Now this is the URL that people are clicking on and finding. Google looks for the keywords, and then if the keywords are in the title, and then you want the keywords in the URL. So the URL is right here, and if you guys ever need help with any of this, so right at the very beginning, we have Pinchner at the beginning. Now if you go and change any of this, you can always may just make sure you push OK after so it saves. But as you can see, Pinchner is in the title, it's in the URL. Next one is the description. So the description is what is the blog, right? Or the, the video, what's in the video. Throughout the description, you want to be helping people, building value, giving them tips. That's why the how-tos and the top five tips, uh, articles like that are so popular. You're helping somebody. Um, you want to make it clean, easy for them to read. But most importantly, you still want to put those keywords throughout your description. So as you can see, right at the very beginning of our description, we have pinch nerves, title, URL, description. And if you scroll down, we place it again, pinch nerves, pinch nerves. This is telling the search engines what we're talking about and that we're including it in our, in our blog. All right, the next thing is the images. So yes, you can be found on search engines for your blogs. You can be found on YouTube for your videos, but what, a lot of things, and I do about maybe 30% of my search, go to the images, to look at the images, and those will show up in the search engines also. 
So if you just upload an image and it's got some crazy text in there, you'll never be found. So there's an easy way and a way you can do it to where your blog and your keywords, your title, are in your images. And I'll show you this one as an example. This is obviously an image here. We want to be talking about pinched nerves. So what we do is we take the entire title, copy it, and we put it into the image in the title. So now your image title is the same as your blog. So now if somebody searches for pinched nerve, they're going to see your image, they're going to see your blog, and if you make a video, they'll see your video. You also want to put it in the alt text. Alt text is another thing the search engines look for, and then we even put it in description. So we just want to fill that whole image telling the search engines what it's about so it matches up with your blog or video. Next one are the tags. This is kind of determining what the blog's about, where it's at, location, business related to. Um, it's just tying everything together, telling the internet, right, what is in that blog. When the search engines do a scrape through the internet, they pick up those tags. Same thing for YouTube. When YouTube goes through and uh, content they have, they recognize the tags and align those with the blog or the video. So tags are over here on the right. Now, first we put the doctor that we wrote this for. And next we're obviously gonna do pinch nerve. That's gonna tell them that we're talking about pinch nerve, right? Some other things you can include is if you're a local business, you can include your city, that's where you're located. You can put your zip code in there also. Uh, you can also put different things that you uh, you work on. So they're talking about, let's just say lumbar spine also. Now, also relates to chiropractic. So you can do chiropractor, chiropractic. Think about different things that your business relates to that will lead back from the blog and put those tags in there so people can relate. They can also do click on tags and see other blogs, videos that you've posted. So uh, just make sure you always put the tags in there. And then the last one is the featured image. This is something a lot of people forget or aren't really sure how to do. This is what tells um, all the social media networks out there and uh, even the search engine what, what image is related to your blog. So if you scroll down on the right here, you're gonna see featured image and we're gonna put the image in that this whole blog relates to. Now, if I update it, we want this image showing up when we share it on social media. So as that's loading, I will go there. And then I will also, we'll come back to that and I'll show you that once it all loads. Um, same thing, pretty similar in YouTube, right? We want the title to be the exact same. We don't have a video about pinch nerve, but I just want to show you a video we just put out the other day. And obviously we're talking about three website blog tips, Marketing Monday. So what do you think our keywords are? Blog and content. So we put blog and content throughout the article and throughout the video. We make the title with those keywords in there. Next thing you'll want to do is add the description and incentivize them to go back to your website. So we always put the website in the first sentence so they can read the short description of what we're talking about and then go to the website to read the rest of the blog. We'll also make sure we put other keywords in there. And then we'll come down to the tags and we'll write content, tips, and blog in our tags. Some other things, start a website, Monday, automation links, um, our names, other things just in case somebody's searching, we, they can come and find us. You also want to upload a featured image. That featured image is the exact one that we used in the blog, so make everything match. You, you don't want to just some random image of you talking in the middle of talking. So make it uh, an image in there that relates. You can make a pub, you'll make it public so people can see it. And then we also even create playlists, different playlists so people can filter and watch all of our business tips in one section. If they want to watch all of our interviews, they can go to our interviews. Uh, we have an eight part series they can go watch in a row. So just that just helps your viewers find more of your videos. All right, and then you'll save it. Just make sure you hit save. Now the last thing, or two more things I wanna show you. So we save this, right? This is our blog. We're gonna take that URL once it uploads, and we're gonna paste it into Facebook or whatever social media you wanna put in there. And we want that featured image to show up. 
Here we go. So we copy the URL at the top, pinch nerves in there. We hope this image shows up when we paste it. And we'll see what happens. Fetching preview. And there it is. And that was from the featured image that we put on the bottom right. So this to show up in our Twitter and all the social medias that we share, LinkedIn. And uh, then we would just put the title and a short description, something to make somebody want to read the rest, something that's helpful and that will help them out. All right, guys, so I hope that helped. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you need a one-on-one -on -one from us to help you with your blog and web content or even videos. Uh, we'd love to help you. And then don't forget on the website, you can take a free website analysis to see it's five quick questions to see what you're doing right and what needs to be fixed. That way you can just keep making your website better. So I hope everyone has a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. <laughs>